Hi, it's Stefano Malay here, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the Law Office of David P. Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of the future when charged with a crime. So how does one become a criminal defense lawyer? And I'll start from the very beginning, and I'll describe the traditional way of doing things, but know that there are many ways to get there. In fact, did you know that you don't have to go to law school in order to become a lawyer, at least in California? California has an option where you can study with a law officer or a judge, and then after jumping through some hoops, you qualify to actually take the bar exam. And if you pass, you're a lawyer. Okay, so normally you go to college for four years, get a bachelor's degree. There's no specific major that really translates into preparing for the law. Generally, it's anything that prepares you for a lot of reading, writing, and analytical thinking. Now, one might think you have to study political science or government to go into law school, but that's simply not the case. For example, I was a philosophy major. I know people who were, are great lawyers that majored in history, English, math, even art history. Then after college, you have to get ready and take this LSAT, which is a standardized test. And in theory, this test is supposed to provide some indication of how well you will do in law school and how likely you are to pass the bar. For what it's worth, many lawyers and judges I've spoken to don't think the LSAT says anything about what kind of lawyer you will be. But there's a lesson to be learned. It's always about your audience. And in this case, law school is your audience. And since the powers that be at the law schools think a high LSAT score makes you a safe bet for representing their school and their statistics, then it's worthwhile trying to get a high score. It can also mean scholarship money. So obviously that's a very important factor. Then you go to law school. Full-time, usually you're gonna be done in three years. Part-time, it can take four years or more. Unless uh, you get scholarships, it's going to be very expensive. And as you may know, many people take on a lot of debt to make this dream come true. While in law school or in college for that matter, you will participate in internships. That is work for in the legal field from some capacity, whether it be a public entity like a prosecutor's office, the public defender's office, or uh, the court even, or you intern at a private law firm. The idea is to get good experience on the day-to-day -day life of practicing law and being a lawyer. This will help you figure out what area of law you want to eventually end up in. And then after law school, you start studying for the bar full-time for about two and a half months. The bar exam is offered in July and February. You take the bar and then wait, at least in California, for about three months for the results. Then, whether you pass the first time or subsequent time, you got to figure out what you want to do with your newly minted law license. If you did a good job building relationships throughout college and law school, through internships, etc., getting a job will be a lot easier than for those that are cold calling law firms or sending applications to dozens of places. If you decide you want to be a criminal defense lawyer, here are some qualities you should cultivate aside from taking internships in the area. You've got to learn how to be comfortable speaking in court. Notice I say learn because it just takes practice. Force yourself to take classes or have opportunities to speak in front of others. Second, you have to be personable and know how to negotiate. Some of this will be inherent from life experience, but you can learn by observing mentors who are respected and by taking courses in conflict resolution, reading books on human psychology, etc. At the end of the day, you don't just argue as a lawyer, you effectively communicate a position in such a way that you move the other person to act in a, uh, essentially favorably for your client. Third, you gotta learn to love, or you gotta love to continue to learn. You can't just go on autopilot. Criminal defense, especially in criminal law, is ever changing. Look, at the end of the day, you gotta also practice and engage in writing, okay? Um, as as the, the saying goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. And a lot of times, your written motion is going to convince a judge before you even open your mouth. Now, those are some of the basics. Hope this was helpful in sort of um, some factoring that you're going to do about whether or not becoming a lawyer is what you really want. And if you're in the process of it, what it's going to look like. And hopefully some tips on things to do to make sure that you end up exactly where you want to be. If you have any questions feel free to comment on this or follow me on Instagram at San Diego Criminal Defense, Twitter, Molea Law, and we can definitely engage there. And I also try to put up some content that will hopefully give you some more insight on the day-to-day -day life of a criminal defense lawyer. Thanks for listening and have a great day.